My name is Willie, and I'm a 6 handicap. My name is Scott, and I'm a 13 handicap. My name is Jack, and I'm an 18 handicap. Do you guys have any good golf jokes? <laughs> <laughs> When you smoke cannabis, you might start to relax a bit and the performance might actually get better. I'd say I'm an athletic amateur. A little nervous, hope to stay calm and cool. We're probably gonna smoke more than one normally would. As when you smoke, you settle down, you know, observe the grass and the trees and it helps you focus in a little bit. But yeah, I don't think I'm gonna be setting any personal bests. Just gonna give you a quick sobriety test. I'm just gonna move my finger back and forth across your face. Right. I want you to follow it with your eyes without moving your head, okay? The horizontal gaze nystagmus test shows signs of intoxication where the eye should stay static, they'll start twitching. Good Good job, pass. Willie. Yep. Yes. <laughs> serious about like as a fan than I am about my own game. And I, I like to play and practice and stuff, but um, I still keep it fun, not so serious. I'm feeling good, feeling confident. <laughs> you know, I definitely hit some good shots, but time to time I can, you know, get a little loose with the club. I like to go out and chase the ball around and at the end of the day it's just about hanging out with friends and, and having fun. I love golf, yet I am really bad. I play like once or twice a week by myself. I go out there. So I'm a dedicated golfer, but I'm not very good. Let's get high. <laughs> when you have a vape, the amount that you smoke, it's a fixed dose. <coughs> Big draw there. Tastes pretty good. Yeah. yeah. That's going to conclude the Friday session. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. that's a pleasure. Feel good. Got a little buzz. A little buzz going. I'm feeling very well. Took a couple rips of like a little pen. So I'm hoping to really be able to visualize the, the shots. <laughs> I think it's going to let me focus. So it'll just be pure. Ooh. This round will be pretty good, I hope. That was explosive. Woo. Yeah. A warm up, right? A live? Oh, yeah, we'll do it live. Marijuana has uh, both THC and CBD. Oh, yeah. THC is the psychoactive component. So when you smoke, the THC part is what gives you the euphoria, the high, and the psychological effect. The CBD nice. part, which doesn't bind to any receptors, no. is what gives you the anti inflammatory and the pain relieving part. Better than last time, more, more relaxed. Be the ball. <laughs> the effects of THC, it's called a biphasic reaction. When you have a small dose, you have a certain effect, and a higher dose, you can get very agitated and paranoid, and that's the therapeutic window. In that window is the spot where people try to stay within to get the maximum effect. Shall we? <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> Cheers, boys. Mm. <coughs> Done. <laughs> That concludes your sobriety test. Thank, Thank you. you. You didn't pass this one. Oh, I'm feeling pretty good. I'm feeling a little goofy. I had a, um, <clears throat> a delicious lunch, had a nice burger. And I feel pretty loose. Uh, I'm still a little hungry, to, if I'm to, to be honest. A little bit lazy maybe in the muscles, but we'll get there, hopefully. They may not nail a driver every single oh, time. Yeah. A little toey. I'm really trying to make better contact with the driver on this one. I think I've been uh, off center, oh, yeah. so hopefully this will center me. Nice. Oh. Yeah. yeah. 240. That was the best one. I'm good. Good as good as ever. I'm thinking of hitting a low penetrating ball flight. I think that's a good approach. Let me take that one for the wind. Cannabis affects everybody differently. A little concerned about my golf swing, but we'll get there, hopefully. Mind over matter. 
at a low dose it has a kind of a relaxing decreasing the amount of anxiety you have and that can actually help you play better you all ready for this and i feel loose i would say so not tight <laughs> as in the opposite <laughs> You know, a lot of people lose this inhibition. They're not too uptight about the score. They can kind of relax and let loose. Ooh, nice. Damn, I really thought it was roll. Do you guys want to smoke a joint? I was aware of it though. So this you passed your survival yes! test. <laughs> Very good. Congratulations. Yeah. I feel stoned. <laughs> right now, I would definitely say that I'm not low. But yeah, I don't think it's gonna go as well. I'm struggling with the driver still. I think I need to swing less hard. Munch, 275. The tension in the body goes down. Oops, that doesn't count. And when the tension in the body yeah, goes down, the club head speed will go up. I feel like I'm going to rip some more drives, feeling the flow there. I think that's where I think weed actually helps. As long as you've got decent fundamentals, you can just swing as hard as you can and like, it just goes. It's so fun. So you see people drive it probably a lot better. Oh, Iron's not so much. The THC dissolves oh, yeah. in fat, gets into the bloodstream. It then gets across the blood-brain oh. barrier. I'm too tired. It affects two parts of the brain. The temporal lobe, which is on the side, things like fast-making decisions, complex movements, complex thought processes are affected in a negative way. Beautiful divot. Not great. The frontal lobe, where you know, yep. a lot of executive decisions, willpower, emotion are affected. You can actually become very calm. I kind of want to like lay down and watch the clouds go by, you know. So depending on where and what dose, yeah. it affects the brain that way. You rolled that really well. That was That's really. Don't do my mom, dude. <laughs> Scale one to ten, how high do you feel right now? Nine, probably. Right. Eight and a half, like a soft seven. Yep. You failed your final oh. sobriety test. Yeah, I didn't expect yeah. to pass. You passed your final sobriety test. I mean, how could I possibly pass my sobriety test? I didn't want to do this. Let's just do it. Get over it. Usually, it's very difficult to tell if somebody's high on marijuana. I'm gonna try to hit the guy. <laughs> yeah, I'm feeling pretty high. Pretty, pretty stoned. I just like, I can't think straight right now. My arms are so heavy. It's a very emotional reaction that they have. Oh, buddy. Oh. I'd say I feel pretty ripped at the moment. Euphoria mixed with some excitement and some nerves. You can't golf like this. Many, many things go into this. It doesn't affect everybody the same. Ooh. All right, let's do it. As the amount of THC in the brain starts building up, you might actually see them getting to a point where, you know, they don't care. Perfect chance to hit the guy. Really could go anywhere with the irons. I hope that I just, you know, can hit it straight. I would say this is the highest I've ever been coughing. <laughs> yeah, it sucks to end on that one. Finished, dude. I'm so tired. <laughs> <laughs> I think that the, when you get stoned and play golf, you like yeah. a little bit is good. I think our results probably show that like you can handle that. This was excessive. Excessive, excessive. for sure. My favorite part of the day <laughs> was driving the golf ball. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Mine too. Yeah. Se like second or third round. Second round or third round, one of those. All of it was really fun. But I do think that we really did bring out the best in each other. Yeah, and I really think we're totally gonna play agree. golf. Yeah. So we, with each yeah. other again. Oh. And maybe we'll smoke some weed. You know, the best way to recover from smoking marijuana is to go to bed and sleep and eat and just let it come out of your system. There's no magic pills. Please don't smoke weed and golf. And please don't drive the car. And please don't drive yourself home if you smoke a joint on the golf course. <laughs>